In this problem, we're going to use the rational zero theorem to find the possible rational zeros. So the way you do this is you look at the factors of this number over here divided by the factors of this number here. So it's factors of the constant term over factors of the leading coefficient. So it's factors of the last one. So I'll go ahead and write it out. Factors of 15 divided by and then factors of 2. Factors of 2. So what are the factors of 15? Well, 1, 3, 5, and 15. But it's really important to always include a plus or minus. So plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3. 4 doesn't work, but 5 works. So plus or minus 5. And I guess the last one is 15. Yeah, nothing else seems to work. So 15, right? Those are the numbers that go in evenly into 15, right? You can, 15 is equal to 3 times 5, so. All right, and then over here on the bottom, we have the factors of 1, which are just plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 2. So now we need an organized way um, to write the answer. So the way I do it is as follows. I take this number here, the 1, and then divide it by these. And then I go to the 3 and then divide it by these. And then I go to the 5 and divide it by these. And then I go to the 15 and divide it by these. So 1 over 1 is 1. Don't forget the plus or minus. And then 1 over 2 is 1 over 2. So we're done with the 1, right? We did 1 over 1 is 1. 1 over 2 is 1 over 2. Now we go to 3. 3 over 1 is 3. And then 3 over 2 is 3 over 2. Then we go to the 5. 5 over 1 is 5. And then 5 over 2 is just 5 over 2. And then we go to 15. 15 over 1 is 15. So I'll put it down here. And then 15 over 2 is simply 15 over 2. And that would be it. That would be all the possible rational zeros. Sometimes you get repetition, and I really thought we would. Uh, and when that happens, um, you just you just don't write it twice. But in this case, uh, there was no repetition uh, at all. All the numbers are are different. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.